Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would film myself getting ready. I just cleaned my face and everything, so I thought I would just do that. I'm just going to jump straight into it because um, Zeke is asleep and I know that he's going to wake up soon. So my makeup and my hair gets done in the bathroom. This is purely because we have young children and they like to get into my makeup all the time. Everyone especially loves makeup at the moment, so she is always playing in my makeup everything. I just recently like went through it all and got rid of stuff and gave her some stuff that she can play with and most of my stuff is just in here so that I can use it. So I'm going to start with my skin. I've already cleansed and moisturized it so I don't need to do that anymore. I'm going to start with my eyebrows I think today. But I got these little um, containers from Ikea the other day when I was mum and they are so helpful. It was a pack of five for I think $14 or something but they're so nice like so nice, I love them. When, if I ever get a makeup room and I'm ever able to have all of my makeup and my skincare, all of my makeup and my like hair products and everything set out nicely and I have my own room for it, I will have these containers because they are so nice. I need to clean all like my, my everything. I just need to clean everything. I just haven't had time to do it. I have to go to the gym because I don't have time to clean my makeup. Priorities, right? So I'm just going to start with my eyebrows. I'm using the Brow Beater by Urban Decay in dark. So I got this yesterday. I really like it. I used it this... Wait, no. I used it yesterday? Well, no. Wait. I used it this morning because I've already worn makeup today. I took it all off before because I tried to face mask out. But now I decided to do this because I need to get ready to go out again because I need to pick up my emerald. So all I do is just tiny little strokes just to fill in the gaps really because this is just this is just me going to pick up emerald honestly and I'll probably go to the shops for a little bit because um, I need to get a few groceries and bits and pieces so this is quite um, quite an everyday look I guess. Next week I'm going to this event. I'm going to vlog it so you guys will see and if you guys follow me on Instagram you'll see it anyways. But I'm so excited for it and I haven't got anything to wear yet. So I don't know, like, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna wear like jeans and a nice top or something, but I don't have a nice top that I wanna wear. I really love this um, little brush. It's got a spoolie on the end. It's very easy to use and you can create a really tidy brow without having to put in all these different products, you know? And it doesn't look, like it looks really natural too. I just love that I can put in a little bit more effort now because the exists like Yep, so that's pretty much all I'm going to do for my brows, so I just tidy them up a little bit. And that's that done. The next thing I'm going to do is um, apply some primer. Um, I'm just going to use this Baby Skin Instant Pore Razor by Maybelline. I'm just going to grab a little bit and put it on my finger. Just a little key size amount is usually enough. And I focus this really on like my um, T-zone and my cheeks. And just blend it to the rest of my face. I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand. Sorry, my foundation is the MAC Pro Longwear um, Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. And I use the shade NC35. I've like nearly saved up enough, enough MAC bottles now to get. I don't know what they've said you get with it. I can't remember. But I've saved, I'm saving them up. So just um, blot that on my blood. It. Is it bloody? I just kind of stipple it into my skin. I just can't wait to not be breaking it out anymore because it's so annoying. Because you can't do any, you can't do too much when it's hormonal. You just kind of got to wait it out. And I already have like acne scarring, so it's not really ideal to have acne scarring and be breaking out. Because yeah, I don't know. The only thing, that, like my acne scarring, used to be really bad, um, like just from like high school and stuff. But the, I'm sorry. But the only thing that seems to be helping is the Alpha H um, Liquid Gold. So I use it every second night, and like my skin is so much better from it. I used to have acne scarring all over my cheeks and everything, but it has seriously helped me so much. And I would recommend it to anyone. I recommend it to any. I do recommend it to people. I recommend it to anyone who is looking to get rid of their acne sky and it even helps you just like look like you're glowing um, so that's my foundation done I also make sure I blend it down my neck because I have to and now I'm going to go in with concealer I think I might do a little bit of a contour today I don't know I don't know I feel like 
have so many options because Zeke is asleep. I've got so much time to like, but I, I know I don't. I know I really don't, not just yet. Okay, so the concealer that I use is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is my favorite concealer I have ever come across so far. And I use 20 cents, Sable. And I like this because it's very affordable and um, you can find it everywhere. Like every time I go to Coles, it's there. Or Woolworth, it's there. And then the chemist, usually it's there. So I never run out of concealer. So I'm just going to pop that. That's like my highlight and concealer. And now I'm going to use the um, LA Girl Pro Conceal just to like contour a little bit. Just gonna pop that. I'm gonna put that around my hairline. And I'm not too fussed because I know I'm gonna blend it out. And just my jawline on the sides of my nose a little bit. Sorry, the brush I use for my foundation is this fluffy one from Morphe. I'm not very good with this. The next one I'm going to use is another one from Morphe and it's just a little stippling brush and it needs a clean really bad. But I will do it, I will do it eventually. And I'm just going to um, blend it out. I'm going to blend out the contour first and then I'll do the highlight after and I'll probably use my finger for under my eyes. I know exactly what I'm going to do for my hair right now. I feel like a little bit, um, I feel like I'm a little bit fancy today because I've got more time. So I'm just going to blend that all out now. And I'm just going to use my finger to do under my eyes because I don't have a beauty sponge at the moment. So once that is done, I'm going to set my face. So I'm just using the RCMA translucent powder. And I'm just going to use this little um, fluffy brush from New by Nature. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes. Quite, quite thick, not really baking, but um, like a lot of it on there. And then I'll wipe it away. So I'll bake, but not as dramatically. Okay, so next I'm going to jump straight into my bronzer. So I've been using this one from Vanity lately and it's very well used. It's the Bronze Bohe Mineral Bronzer. I said it was well used. I've, I've hit pan on it really badly. Yeah, I do need to get another one, but um, I just kind of pat it onto everywhere that I contour it. But not like most of it, I concentrate in this area here. And then the rest of it just go over lightly. I still manage to do this in a rush, even though I'm not in a rush anymore. I just can't help it. Next, I'm going to use the Vanity Berry Parfait Mineral Brush. This hasn't changed much since I think the last time I did a Get Ready With Me video. But, what are you going to do? So just pop it on my cheeks and then bring it up my cheekbone. I need to find something to hide my under eye circles. I just can't, because I'm so tired and they just don't want to leave me. So I just blend it out with the brush that I used to bronze my skin with. So that's that. Next I'm going to highlight. I'm going to use the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. My fave. All time fave. Fan brush. This fan brush is really old. I don't even know the brand. Oh, there it is. Bella. It's a Bella brush. I got it. I got it a really long time ago. So I'm just going to grab a bit of that and I'm going to pop it on the tops of my cheekbones. Oh, I love highlighting. And I'm going to bring it up onto my brow bone, on the top of my lip, and then on the tip of my nose. And then I grab a little bit on my finger and I put that in my inner corner. I'm going to line my lips with, not this, line my lips with the Boldly Bare Lip Pencil. This is by MAC. It's very um, nude for me. Then that's that done. And then the lipstick I'm going to use is this Smashbox sample that I got. Oh, the always on liquid lipstick in driver's seat. I found the cachet. I'm going to Mecca and I'm going to buy this because the sample is really good. Well, when the sample is out. So it's in driver's seat. This literally lasts a long time. Like I had it on for four hours this morning. It did not budge. Like fantastic in my opinion. So I'm just going to pop some of this on. And it is so smooth. Like just love it. I've never bought like um, Smashbox 
lip lipsticks or anything like that. So um, I don't actually know if this is like normal, but I'm gonna assume it is. Seriously love this color, like rotate this. I'm gonna do my hair now. <laughs> 